Yeah. It's like how... I mean, I've no... You've definitely shot a lot more stuff than I have. I'm I'm a lot more focused on just writing. And what what age did you start shooting? I mean, I, I'd i say 17. Okay. And it's... Yeah, like I'd say seven. I like I did things when I was a kid, but mm-hmm. I wouldn't really count that as you know, like an actual film or anything. Yeah, I mean, like we're like on the same level, and I've been shooting longer, so that really shows like you're learning fast. You know, we all are. We're learning a ton. Yeah, and it's you know? I I feel like it's definitely on the on the aspect of the program that we're in. Mm-hmm. Like definitely shout out to Professor Racy. Yeah, here. Sh- big <laughs> shout out to Loyola. Like yeah. we got we got a kick ass film school here. Yeah, I. Like, Loyola is seriously. certainly underrated for film, and yeah. I feel like in a couple of years people are start are gonna start no- noticing because when I got here in freshman year, and talking to people who were seniors at the time when I was a freshman, they're like, "Oh, the program has evolved exponentially," mm-hmm. and like that speaks a lot to what like, and I, I mean, I was I was the teaching assistant for um intro digital film and i saw the 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 films Mm -hmm. like i saw all of them Mm -hmm. and they were impressive like the one two three yeah they weren't bad they were impressive for for and it's like a new filmmaker yeah yeah like yeah exactly like yeah comparatively speaking from what was our generate like what was the class of 2023 for film at loyola Mm -hmm. to what's class of 2024 from loyola you can see how the film program is just advancing yeah also this this might not sound significant but it is when you know we were freshmen shooting our one two three we were shooting our sound separately yeah and you never do that when you start and we were slating and doing all that that's you know people and that makes that those small things like that just make all the difference yeah i mean you might think like oh you're in film school like no shit you'll be slating and you know shooting sound separately but like no i mean they don't they don't do this at many other schools yeah it's you know like I'm not going to mention the school, but, you know, somebody who transferred in from a different school to Loyola's program was like, oh, no, we were just using, like, our own cameras. Uh, phones. Yeah. And like, oh, uh... they we're using our own cameras and, like, we had zero, if all, none equipment. Or, like, shooting and on like, you were... Canon T3Is. Or... Exactly. And you weren't learning the technical aspects of what filmmaking is Mm -hmm. and it's like if if you don't learn that and you don't understand the fun like how the intricacies of how it works then how are you expected to make a good story yeah exactly and it's like they're also just teaching like you just oh you just dump your footage into final cut but it's like no we're like now we're like making dailies and yeah do resolve like, and putting them in avid and it's like bro no other schools aren't doing this we're kind of like just worshiping Loyola right now yeah we key. we really are we just yeah. went on a tangent we this is a commercial yeah yeah <laughs> if any if any film student is looking for apply to anyone no but seriously like <laughs> and we made a we like the thing is okay yeah we are praising Loyola a lot but at the same time they're all valid points and they're all very yeah. reasonable we're not just saying this because we go here like yeah this like is I, true like Loyola has a lot of faults many but the many. even the film school like I'm not gonna say it's immaculate but the thing is you want a program that evolves it's with vigorous its students. And, and so hands-on and so professional like like with the you know with uh, how everyone's remotely editing, you know, the people who are taking online classes. Yeah, it's... They're using software that they're using to cut, you know, um, like Suicide Squad. Everyone's working from yeah, home to cut that, and they're in, using the same software. It's softwares. incredible. Yeah. It's, it's like, like, I don't know. when I mean, you were also applying to film schools one, at one time, mm-hmm. and it's like, you know, Chapman is one of the great film schools. Yeah. And I was like, there's a kid from Chapman applying to Loyola right mm-hmm. now. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, I heard that, and I was like, I was like, what? And then, and then the teacher I, I can't say told me this information was like they're applying because they aren't getting taught anything it's just zoom classes some people and don't like, even touch a camera till their second or third second year really yeah like second or th- even third year yeah and yeah. it's like it's like you're paying like thousands of dollars mm-hmm. to be taught this thing and you aren't getting what like halfway through you haven't touch the camera like mm-hmm. what even is that yeah yeah we're i'm just like blown away like i toured i toured some film schools and uh 
just wow. You know, like <laughs> I, I went toward one school, you know, small little lovely school, kind of lovely. I didn't really like it. But anyway. <laughs> um, that devolved quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much I, I go and meet all the film students and um, I, don't, I don't see any like nice cameras around or anything. And not that it's about equipment. It's not. It's not at all. It's about what the equipment does. Yeah. And what you that can show you what to do. It's more about what you can do with it. And that, you know, we've learned that here too. We're not making good films because we have good equipment. It's because we've been, you know, taught how to use it right. Yeah. You know? It's like, I feel like now... I can grab the camera that I've had forever, the one that I'm shooting this podcast in, which I love it, but it isn't a good camera. And I learn, I can, I know how to use it effectively now at the point where I can make a quality film with it and be able to present it to, you know, film festivals and be actually proud of the thing I made, you know, and not like, not being like, well, I have this great story. And then it's like, everything looks blurry and out of focus you know there's grain everywhere you know there's the colors are not meshing correctly the the bits are too like distorted the audio quality is god awful and then you're like well then the story is not going through to the person viewing the experience all they can see is like wow this movie looks like shit yeah yeah, totally. And it's like, and it's a it bad sounds, thing. It sounds bad, too. It sounds bad, too. And it's like, like, we took a class just for audio. Yeah. Like, that's, I don't know if that's, like, rare, but. I, 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 but don't, I don't know if it when is, When you're honestly. using, like, Pro Tools and is I don't know, maybe it's nothing rare, but anyway, sorry, continue. But, but the, like, the thing I'm trying to get across is how, a, you know, how you're able to. I mean, it's all about skills. You come to college or you get an education to get skills. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, you the practical aspect is good and it's effective. But if you're not able to execute, you know, the theory, then what did you pay thousands of dollars for? You know, I, I have a really good question that is asked a lot. And I ask myself it too. Do you think film school... Is truly worth it, and I'd I'd go ahead and say yes, because okay, I've I've been knowing how to make films my whole life, like you know, I I could make a film, but I don't know. There's just you know, there's so many filmmakers who haven't gone to film school, um, that are fine, like Tarantino, Paul Thomas Anderson, uh, Spielberg, I think. Like, do you think film school is truly worth it, or do you think? It's just to enhance your skills, not to give you skills. Did I? Did I? Yeah. No. No. I, I understand exactly what you're saying, but in in the way that you know, film school or school or university for that matter is for skills and to either enhance, teach you new skills or to learn new skills. Then yes. Then it's like yes. But like the thing is, the degree. Film degree, if you go to, up to any, you can study Harvard University and get a BFA in film. Yeah, I don't care about the degree, really. But, the, yeah. but this is the thing. If you don't acquire those skills and you acquire a degree, then you're doing nothing. Mm -hmm. You are. You can go to Paramount, you can go to Universal. It doesn't matter that you want to study at Harvard. They're going to laugh and spit at you. Like, it... It really doesn't matter. But if you have the skills and you're able to quantify those skills and able to use them effectively, then you're going to show your resume and be like, I went to this school and they're going to be like, wow, a lot of people that came out of this school actually have skills and they're skillful at what they do and what they want to do. And they're able to exact that. Mm -hmm. Then, yes, absolutely. You know, like, yeah. But the thing is, like, if you take Spielberg into into, into perspective, he never went to good film school. If I'm mm -hmm. if I'm if I'm I could be wrong, but he, he, he didn't. I'm pretty sure I think he what it, what I do know is that he took the time as most like all directors that are known nowadays and household names they took the time to hone in their skills and learn i know i was talking about that like this previously i was like to realize what is the quickest way from point a to point b to exact a story and to be able to make a script a movie and learning how you know the quickest a to point a to point b is a straight line and to be able to get that straight line you know and the way they're able to exact this is through studying and research. And a lot of people don't go out of their way, even if they really want to do it, to 
improve themselves mm-hmm. and they're like oh i want to do this thing and i sort of do it but they're like not honing in college gives you the discipline and the metric really to be able to do it and it offers you the experience you know i personally want to go to grad school to be able to hone in on that in a screenwriting sense and like specialize in that because that's what i want to do and it's like i get it grad school's expensive and there's a lot of things that come with it but at the same time it's like do you want to improve the skill and be able to be exposed to people that understand it at a fundamental level yes the answer is always going to be yes i'd say um okay what was i gonna say so film school i would say is not like you don't have to go to film school. Like if you want to make no, films. No, you don't have to go to film school. That's You don't that, have to you go. You don't have to go. But if you go to a good one, you will be shocked at how much you didn't know. I mean, like, um, I'd say, I mean, I've been doing, I've been doing films since I was like eight, kind of my whole life. Really, I've just been playing around with cameras. I'd say I'm like low key, not like a, not a veteran. It's not like I'm making amazing fucking movies or anything, but I just know my I know my stuff with film. But-